FBI agents descended on Paul Manafort's Alexandria, Virginia apartment in an unannounced pre-dawn raid late last month, according to the Washington Post. It unfolded in the early morning hours July 26th with agents seizing financial and tax records, among other documents. The raid appears to be unusual since Manafort has repeatedly claimed he is cooperating and it marks a significant step in special counsel Robert Mueller's Russia investigation. The FBI agents working for special counsel Mueller believe that he is hiding something and that they conducted their search in the early morning as is normal for them so that the individual whose residence it is has no opportunity to destroy or otherwise tamper with the evidence that they seek. Manafort stepped down as Trump's campaign chair last August as questions about Russia's involvement in the election intensified. Are there any ties between Mr. Trump, you or your campaign, and Putin and his regime? No, there are not. It's absurd uh, and, you know, there's no base to it. But CNN has learned investigators have become suspicious of Manafort after they turned up intercepted communications from suspected Russian operatives discussing Russian efforts to work with Manafort to gather information that could hurt Hillary Clinton's bid for the White House, according to U.S. officials. Manafort's attendance at a June 2016 Trump Tower meeting with Donald Trump Jr., Jared Kushner, and a Russian lawyer has also piqued the interest of federal investigators. During the campaign, Manafort denied working with the Russians. Why is it so far-fetched to blame the Russians and say that the motive was to help you? I mean, it's just absurd. Agents raided Manafort's home one day after he met behind closed doors with the Senate Intelligence Committee. And CNN is told Manafort turned in approximately 400 pages to the Senate Judiciary Committee on August 2nd. Many of those documents pertain to Manafort's retroactively registering as a foreign agent at the end of June. Investigators are scrutinizing Manafort's tax and business records to determine whether any criminal violation may have occurred. Mueller's former special counsel at the Justice Department says if there's evidence of other crimes committed by Manafort, it could be leverage for the special counsel to convince Manafort to cooperate. If you can obtain charges that are viable against them on something collateral to that, then you can use that as leverage to strike a deal with respect to the type of evidence that you want with respect to the heart of your matter, in this case, the collusion.